Hey, y'all, Hot Rod Dad here. Not been spending a whole lot of time in the shop here lately because uh, I usually take about a month off uh, around the holidays. And frankly, it's been colder than a well digger's boots around here. So it's finally got warm enough to melt most of the snow off. We had a little bit of dust in here last night. So I figured it's about time to get back in the shop. And do some uh, videos for you. So I figured I'd start a new video series of quick little tech tips. And I'm going to put them all in a playlist. Y'all can watch them a little bit at a time. I'll add to it through the year. Now some people probably call some of this stuff redneck. I prefer the term Appalachian engineering. So y'all come on, check it out. Can you imagine asking your parts guy for a radiator hose for a 1954 Chevy truck with an early 80s Corvette engine in it, sitting on a S10 chassis? Well, that dog don't hunt. So here's a little tech tip for you to help you custom fit your radiator hose on whatever it is you're working on. When you're building a custom car or truck, more often than not, you're going to end up doing an engine swap on it. Now, old Oscar here would have originally had a straight six right here. But now it's got a 350 out of an early 80s Corvette. When I upgraded the engine, I also upgraded the radiator. Most of the time, you're going to cut run into some custom engineering on your radiator hoses. Now, this one wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, you know, I could just about eyeball it and uh, go to the parts store and pick up something that uh, is close. Just a 45 degree bend up there at the top. Not too complicated. But that lower one, a little bit more complicated. So I used on this truck and about every truck that I've ever built a special tool. And it's specifically or I use it specifically for this application. And here it is. It's just a piece of aluminum duct. This is what goes up under your dashboard on, on older cars and trucks. Connects your vents, your defrost vents to your heater. Now, you may say, how's that gonna help? Well, here's how. So let's say you're building that custom classic truck, hot rod, whatever it is you're building. You've got the engine in place now. You've got the radiator sitting where it's supposed to be. Now is the time that you break out this highly specialized technical tool. So because this is about the same size as the radiator hose, because it's expandable, flexible, I can bend that to whatever shape that I need. And now I've got a pattern <clears throat> for what kind of hose I need. So take that to the parts store, set it in the CD car, be careful with it, don't bend it around. And now I can take that in at the parts store. Any good counter guy will let you go in, go through the hoses until you find that shape that you need. And more often than not, it's gonna be longer. And that's a good thing. You can cut it down to wherever you need it. Now you've got a custom fit radiator hose, especially for your application. <clears throat> when you put that in, take note of the part number. And if you ever need another one, well, you know what to get. I hope you like this tech tip and the content on the channel. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. While you're at it, hit the notification bell. And until next time, you know I'm gonna say it. Wait for it. Y'all get out there and build something.